pero... You have your own accommodations. Why are you in Lord Ayn's room? I was rubbing my scent into everything I could. I wanted it to be the first thing he smelled when he finally returns. Considering he doesn't require sleep, I doubt that will happen. Fine, just don't overdo it. I'm sure I don't know what you mean, but we'll try. Right, Lord Ainz? Uh, uh, is that a life-sized body pillow? Yeah, isn't it great? I made it myself. Now I'm working on the socks and clothes for our first child. I need to be prepared. It won't be much longer. I can feel it. <laughs> I've made enough for the first five years. Boy or girl, they'll have everything they could ask for. <gasps> Wait a minute, what if the child doesn't have a gender? <gasps> if the elf twins are any indication, the supreme beings have no issue with their servants cross-dressing. Yes, you're right. Thank you, Demiurge. That's exactly what I needed to hear. Oh, I'll have to come I'm up always with some new happy designs. to help.